Haemophilus influenza, Wikipedia audio. Haemophilus influenza is a gram negative, cocobacillary, facultatively anaerobic pathogenic bacterium belonging to the Pasteur Relaceae family. H. influenza was first described in 1892 by Richard Pfeiffer during an influenza pandemic. The bacterium was mistakenly considered to be the cause of influenza until 1933 when the viral cause of influenza became apparent, and is still colloquially known as bacterial influenza. H. influenza is responsible for a wide range of localized and invasive infections. This species was the first free-living organism to have its entire genome sequenced. In 1930, two major categories of H. influenza were defined, the unencapsulated strains and the encapsulated strains. Encapsulated strains were classified on the basis of their distinct capsular antigens. There are six generally recognized types of encapsulated H. influenza, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Genetic diversity among unencapsulated strains is greater than within the encapsulated group. Unencapsulated strains are termed non-typable because they lack capsular serotypes, however, they can be classified by multi-locus sequence typing. The pathogenesis of H. influenza infections is not completely understood, although the presence of the capsule in encapsulated type B, a serotype causing conditions such as epiglottitis, is known to be a major factor in virulence. Their capsule allows them to resist phagocytosis and complement mediated lysis in the non-immune host. The unencapsulated strains are almost always less invasive, they can, however, produce an inflammatory response in humans, which can lead to many symptoms. Vaccination with HIV conjugate vaccine is effective in preventing HIV infection but does not prevent infection with NT-high strains. Serotypes Most strains of H. influenza are opportunistic pathogens, that is, they usually live in their host without causing disease, but cause problems only when other factors create an opportunity. They infect the host by sticking to the host cell using trimeric autotransporter adhesins. Naturally acquired disease caused by H. influenza seems to occur in humans only. In infants and young children, H. influenza type B causes bacteremia, pneumonia, epiglottitis, and acute bacterial meningitis. On occasion, it causes cellulitis, osteomyelitis, and infectious arthritis. It is one cause of neonatal infection. Fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, sweating, chest pain that comes and goes with breathing, headache, muscle pain, excessive tiredness, nails may turn blue from lack of oxygen. Due to routine use of the HIV conjugate vaccine in the U.S. since 1990, the incidence of invasive HIV disease has decreased to 1.3-100,000 in children. However, HIV remains a major cause of lower respiratory tract infections in infants and children in developing countries where the vaccine is not widely used. Unencapsulated H. influenza strains are unaffected by the HIV vaccine and cause ear infections, eye infections, and sinusitis in children, and are associated with pneumonia. Clinical features may include initial symptoms of an upper respiratory tract infection mimicking a viral infection, usually associated with fevers, often low-grade. This may progress to the lower respiratory tract in a few days, with features often resembling those of a wheezy bronchitis. Sputum may be difficult to expectorate and is often gray or creamy in color. 
The cough may persist for weeks without appropriate treatment. Many cases are diagnosed after presenting chest infections do not respond to penicillins or first-generation cephalosporins. A chest X-ray can identify alveolar consolidation. Clinical diagnosis of H. influenza is typically performed by bacterial culture or latex particle agglutinations. Diagnosis is considered confirmed when the organism is isolated from a sterile body site. In this respect, H. influenza cultured from the nasopharyngeal cavity or sputum would not indicate H. influenza disease, because these sites are colonized in disease-free individuals. However, H. influenza isolated from cerebrospinal fluid or blood would indicate H. influenza infection. Bacterial culture of H. influenza is performed on agar plates, the preferable one being chocolate agar, with added X and V factors at 37 degrees Celsius in a CO2 enriched incubator. Blood agar growth is only achieved as a satellite phenomenon around other bacteria. Colonies of H. influenza appear as convex, smooth, pale, gray, or transparent colonies. Gram-stained and microscopic observation of a specimen of H. influenza will show gram-negative cocobacillus. The cultured organism can be further characterized using catalase and oxidase tests, both of which should be positive. Further serological testing is necessary to distinguish the capsular polysaccharide and differentiate between H. influenza B and non-encapsulated species. Although highly specific, bacterial culture of H. influenza lacks in sensitivity. Use of antibiotics prior to sample collection greatly reduces the isolation rate by killing the bacteria before identification is possible. Beyond this, H. influenza is a finicky bacterium to culture and any modification of culture procedures can greatly reduce isolation rates. Poor quality of laboratories in developing countries has resulted in poor isolation rates of H. influenza. H. influenza will grow in the hemolytic zone of Staphylococcus aureus on blood agar plates, the hemolysis of cells by S. aureus releases factor V which is needed for its growth. H. influenza will not grow outside the hemolytic zone of S. aureus due to the lack of nutrients such as factor V in these areas. Fields agar is best for isolation. In Liventhal medium, capsulate strains show distinctive iridescence. Diseases The latex particle agglutination test is a more sensitive method to detect H. influenza than is culture. Because the method relies on antigen rather than viable bacteria, the results are not disrupted by prior antibiotic use. It also has the added benefit of being much quicker than culture methods. However, antibiotic sensitivity testing is not possible with LAT alone, so a parallel culture is necessary. Polymerase chain reaction assays have been proven to be more sensitive than either LAT or culture tests, and highly specific. However, PCR assays have not yet become routine in clinical settings. Countercurrent immunoelectrophoresis has been shown to be an effective research diagnostic method, but has been largely supplanted by PCR. Both H. influenza and S. pneumoniae can be found in the upper respiratory system of humans. In an in vitro study of competition, S. pneumoniae always overpowered H. influenza by attacking it with hydrogen peroxide and stripping off the surface molecules H. influenza needs for survival. When both bacteria are placed together into a nasal cavity, within two weeks, only H. influenza survives. When either is placed separately into a nasal cavity, each one survives. Upon examining the upper respiratory tissue from mice exposed to both bacteria species, 
an extraordinarily large number of neutrophils was found. In mice exposed to only one of the species, the neutrophils were not present. Lab tests showed neutrophils exposed to dead age influenza were more aggressive in attacking S. pneumoniae than unexposed neutrophils. Exposure to dead age influenza had no effect on live age influenza. Two scenarios may be responsible for this response. It is unclear why age influenza is not affected by the immune response. Diagnosis Culture Pneumonia occurs when the lungs become infected, causing inflammation. Symptoms of pneumonia usually include Latex particle agglutination Molecular methods Interaction with Streptococcus pneumoniae Signs and symptoms Treatment Haemophilus influenza produces beta-lactamases, and it is also able to modify its penicillin-binding proteins, so it has gained resistance to the penicillin family of antibiotics. In severe cases, cefotaxime and ceftriaxone delivered directly into the bloodstream are the elected antibiotics, and, for the less severe cases, an association of ampicillin and sulbactam, cephalosporins of the second and third generation, or fluoroquinolones are preferred. Macrolid antibiotics may be used in patients with a history of allergy to beta-lactam antibiotics. Macrolid resistance has also been observed. The serious complications of HIV are brain damage, hearing loss, and even death. Serious Complications Effective vaccines for Haemophilus influenza type B have been available since the early 1990s, and is recommended for children under age 5 and asplenic patients. The World Health Organization recommends a pentavalent vaccine, combining vaccines against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis B, and HIV. There is not yet sufficient evidence on how effective this pentavalent vaccine is in relation to the individual vaccines. HIV vaccines cost about seven times the total cost of vaccines against measles, polio, tuberculosis, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. Consequently, Whereas 92% of the populations of developed countries was vaccinated against HIV as of 2003, vaccination coverage was 42% for developing countries, and only 8% for least developed countries. The HIV vaccines do not provide cross-protection to any other Haemophilus influenza serotypes like HIA, HEC, HID, HI or HIV. H. influenza was the first free-living organism to have its entire genome sequenced. Completed by Craig Venter and his team at the Institute for Genomic Research, one of the institutes now part of the J. Craig Venter Institute. Haemophilus was chosen because one of the project leaders, Nobel laureate Hamilton Smith, had been working on it for decades and was able to provide high-quality DNA libraries. The genome consists of 1,830,140 base pairs of DNA in a single circular chromosome that contains 1,740 protein coding genes, two transfer RNA genes, and 18 other RNA genes. The sequencing method used was whole genome shotgun, which was completed and published in Science in 1995. Unencapsulated age influenza is often observed in the airways of patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Neutrophils are also observed in large numbers in sputum from patients with COPD. The neutrophils phagocytize age influenza thereby activating an oxidative respiratory burst. However instead of killing the bacteria the neutrophils are themselves killed. 
the lack of killing of the H influenza appears to explain the persistence of infection in COPD. H influenza mutants defective in the REC1 gene are very sensitive to killing by the oxidizing agent hydrogen peroxide. This finding suggests that REC1 expression is important for H influenza survival under conditions of oxidative stress. Since it is a homologue of RECA, REC1 likely plays a key role in recombinational repair of DNA damage. Thus H. influenza may protect its genome against the reactive oxygen species produced by the host's phagocytic cells through recombinational repair of oxidative DNA damages. Recombinational repair of a damaged site of a chromosome requires, in addition to REC1, a second homologous undamaged DNA molecule. Individual H influenza cells are capable of taking up homologous DNA from other cells by the process of transformation. Transformation in H influenza involves at least 15 gene products, and is likely an adaptation for repairing DNA damages in the resident chromosome number transformation, as an adaptation for DNA repair. Vaccines that target unencapsulated H influenza serotypes are in development. Prevention Sequencing Likely protective role of transformation